the sobrospinatus muscle is the most commonly injured muscle. It is one of the four rotator cuff muscles. Each muscle has its own function and its own isolated test. The supraspinatus and deltoid muscle main function is abduction of the shoulder. Weakness of the shoulder abduction can be attributed to the supraspinatus muscle or the deltoid muscle injury or pathology. In fact, the deltoid muscle can abduct the shoulder despite supraspinatus weakness or dysfunction. The Jobs test or the empty can test is the best test to study the supraspinatus muscle. It achieves isolation of the supraspinatus muscle and tests its integrity, strength, and function independent of the deltoid muscle. So you're going to abduct the arm to 90 degree and you're going to bring the arm 30 degree forward to bring the arm into the scapular plane and you're going to internally rotate the arm so the thumb will be pointing to the floor that means that the arm is pronated and the examiner will apply a downward directed force and the patient will try to resist this force Pain or weakness indicates supraspinatus tendon pathology. The supraspinatus pathology can be supraspinatus tendinopathy or a tear, which can cause weakness. However, if the arm of the patient drops down on examination, then this is probably a sign of a complete rotator cuff tear. Pain could mean subacromial impingement. The Jobs test is probably the best test to assess the supraspinatus muscle and tendon. Coronation or internal rotation of the arm decreases the effect of the deltoid muscle on abduction and allows isolated examination of the supraspinatus muscle. This theory is becoming controversial because the full can test compared to the empty can test may be the same or even better as shown on an EMG, which studied the effect of that position on the supraspinatus muscle activity and function. Thank you very much. I hope I was helpful.